The main event between Seth Rollins and Sting, very good match. A lot better than I thought it would be. Um, you, you, it's going to be hit or miss more often than not with Sting in terms, I mean, the guy's 56 years old. What are we expecting? I mean, it's not. it wasn't an instant classic. I would not rank this match amongst the best of the year, but it was a lot better than I thought it would be. If there's any guy to get a great match out of Sting, it's Seth Rollins, and I thought he did so here. They took some crazy bumps. I'm telling you, the, the commentary table bump when Sting went to the Spanish commentary table and back first, didn't take the monitors off or anything, so probably hit his head in the back of a monitor. I don't know if he was concussed or what, but he hurt his back in the buckle bomb spot they did shortly thereafter that, so Sting was fucked up by the end of this match. Like, legitimately, not even storyline speaking, he was legitimately fucked up. Um, that's why he was not on Raw the next night. But anyway, though, um, yeah, I thought this was a very good match. Sting got a, um, I thought he looked great, not even just in the ring, but I thought Physically, he looked great. Um, without the shirt on, very, very good. So he definitely did get himself in. He did, he definitely did get himself in shape in time for SummerSlam, and kept that physique going going into Night of Champions. I just don't know why they had him wear a shirt on Raw. Uh, what, what was the point of that? But anyway, um, he had a good match. I thought it was a good showing. Some people are call, calling this a train wreck. It was awful. I mean, I could see where you're coming from with that, but I thought it was a good match for the time they had, and they also kind of had to make up for Sting getting injured at the end. The guy's 56. Again, you have to be careful with him. Some of the spots were a little unnecessary, but it did add to the match, I will admit. The buckle bomb spot and the commentary spot, commentary table spot, I thought were great. They added to the match. Maybe not as necessary with a guy that's 56 years old and it's on the verge of breaking down, but still, good stuff. Sting, in the end, getting beaten clean by Seth Rollins. was It was not made up. It wasn't a... um. An impromptu finish because Sting got hurt. That was the planned finish. So if they were going to go with something else like Sting winning the championship, they would have had him win. Trust me, they would have had him win. Like they, That did not stop them from having Austin. I mean, I know it was a different time in 1997, but that did not stop them from having Austin win the Intercontinental Championship in um, at SummerSlam 1997 when he broke his neck in the middle of the fucking ring. Sure, he lost the title. Sure, later afterwards, they took the title off of him, but he was still champion. They weren't going to change the result. Just because someone broke their neck, not a big deal. You know what I mean, though. They're not going to... They might if it's super serious, but um, even here, if Sting was going to win, he would have won. It did go as planned. Rollins gets a big win, and people were very up in arms about Sting losing. Again, always 0-2 on pay-per-view. Here's the thing. Sting is an attraction. Oh, people were also saying, oh, this is why he never came over, because they were going to book him like shit. He's not going around prancing around like a clown. WWE has done a fine job with Sting. Now, I agree he should have won a WrestleMania. I absolutely 100% agree he should have beaten Triple H at WrestleMania. To this day, none of us, myself included, have zero idea. We have the, not the slightest clue as to why Triple H won that match. I still have no idea. But, that said, um, Sting is not ruined. Even with this loss, he said himself in interviews, he is not here to cement his legacy in WWE. He came here because he was ready for the next step in his career, finally do what he said he set out to do, and um, go to the one place he never went to, and that being WWE. Now, he's not here, again, to cement his legacy. He's here to further the future, and that's why he put over Rollins on Sunday night. Now, Sting, Triple H, like I said, is not the future. That's why he should have won on um, at WrestleMania. But on Sunday... Totally agree with, with Rollins winning. If Sting won, would have been happy. Would have been cool to see Sting with one, uh, even if a brief, I'll be a brief reign as WWE champion, it still would have happened. It would have been cool to see. But Rollins wins. No complaints from me. He gets a clean win. A credible victory. And then you have him lose clean to John Cena the next night, which kind of defeated the purpose. But anyway...